morning it's a bit different today a bit cooler still looks nice we'll find out what andy's doing i think he's been here a bit earlier this morning because he wants to get off and uh, spend the rest of the day at home or doing something when we're going for a walk or something um so yeah we'll see how he's getting on morning andy morning, guys. you all right yeah, yeah. up bright and early yeah. <laughs> so I'll jump on there and I'll let him in the big shed. dry to lay on, a little bit of straw to eat if they want to. I've seen ashes here as well. Business. And this tractor's now getting a slight tint of dust on it. I don't know if anybody's noticed the shine's going. Still looks well though. These are the pens that we mucked out the other day. And they're just making sure they get plenty of straw in them. But um, it's doing quite well with the ventilation in here. The dust is going out fast, which is what we like to see. It means that the airflow is going up and out of this ridge that we've opened up at the top there. That's taking all like the sweaty bugs and things away from the cattle. It's really important is ventilation in your cattle housing. So I'm riding passenger with Andy now. Oh. Riding shotgun. It's starting to look a bit dirty this track to Andy. Yeah, it needs a wash. Andrew. I, I milled with it the other day and didn't clean it afterwards. Oh yeah that's true actually. Mm. Right, so we've got to wait for my dad now who's down here putting for the beat out. Check this out. I don't even have to do you want anything? Because Ash is there. Business. Don't want to get bitch dirty, <laughs> <laughs> um, So what Andy's done is he's got his hydraulic pipes running. We've turned on the PTO, and then he's controlling the spout of the machine with that little black joystick there. You can point it wherever he wants. Yeah, as you can see, like the cows are pretty chilled with it, really. Some of them, I think, quite enjoy it. Now look at that Hereford there with the white head. He's loving it. I jumped out, speed to Ash now, while Andy just does this outside bit. Making a tidy job there. So I've just had some trouble getting the rear hitch to drop the straw blower off and uh, yeah it wouldn't work any of this Andy says he locks it he locks it so he doesn't knock it and um, lower the arms I'm not sure how you could possibly knock it <laughs> it's not like the old ones where you can really knock it anyway anyway he's had me thinking for the last five minutes so I'm off to pick a load of straw up and fetch that round. We need some for tomorrow. Yeah, I'll fetch it round with this tractor because um, it's the easiest one to drop off straw blower, really. This Bailey trailer is really fantastic, but Bailey, please sort this job out. Look at this, right? I'm picking it up with a normal size tractor, 130. How much room there is under the stand? Like, can you imagine if I run like a bit of unlevel ground? The tractor would hardly pick it up. And that's the same with all our tractors. And it means when we're loading straw in summer, every time you've got to take that on and off, 
and it's a massive pain. So we're gonna have to probably fabricate something that makes it um, a lot shorter. So we bought it, the rep was like, oh, you can get a fold up one. You just fold it up. We're like, right, yeah, put it on. Oh no, they've not welded the, the brackets on, so we couldn't actually get one like that. So that would have solved it. Supposedly like, you see where the little eye is there? Um, they weld another one a little bit further back and you can just fold it up and back. And that would save so much time and now it's, it's unreal. Uh, see, I really wish we had that on it. So I've got it parked up here. I'll jump on the nine meter and just get them all so took right off. right now I'm just building the boxes up for the hats that will be coming this next week from the manufacturer. And then um, I can just put the hats in the box and get them shipped straight out to people um, so you're not waiting too long. I'm hoping that they'll be coming like middle of the week and so hopefully you'll get them like towards the end of next week or maybe just beginning of the week after. Fingers crossed. But my end, I'm going to be doing everything I can to get them to you as soon as possible. So I've got the back of the car loaded up with the first six hats. I'll get those delivered out. Get them, uh, get them out to people. Yodel, I think, is the, the parcel company that I'm using um, to send them. So look out for your Yodel, Yodel delivery. Those first six people that bought hats, they should be getting to you sometime next week. Like, same as second class, well, I think. I've been making boxes and sticking labels on, stuff like that. So I've tried to get everything ready for the next round of shipping. Ash, been out here doing a mix for me. Business. Believe it or not. He's in the 7.5. Business. He also just arrived as well. The big mister. Oh, sexy. Get them legs out. Believe it, boy. Oh, yeah. Out. You are? Yeah, yeah. I know. Is he in trouble? All right. You are. Me? Why am I in trouble? You breathe. Mm, true. <laughs> I thought Ash were burning your wood on in your bin. Today. Well, the day you said you said you were when you were accusing me of doing it. Mm, I apologise. It was him and his, him, his dad and him. <laughs> it was. It was him. You were going to give me some real mister, weren't you? Yeah, we're going to give some mister. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't you're know. Asking about me. Yeah. Slag That's me on you. Mm. If it weren't for me, this company wouldn't be going strong. <laughs> you're at St. Local Spa in a, in a box posted yeah. off to somebody. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You'll get one though, so you want one. Promise. Promise. One. You don't want one? No. I want you to have one. I don't want one. Because I should be number one every time. I've been here fucking all my life. <laughs> <laughs> Just telling us about Tenerife. How many nights did you uh, did you not drink? One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, 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 that uh, a ten? Oh yeah, that, I think that was fair. <laughs> <laughs> Just dropped off the Bailey trailer there. And it looks like we're getting down the silage, so what I'm going to try and do is swap. So we'll fetch the silage on that trailer, because that's the one that's a pain that you have to take the stand off every time. Because um, we'll just park it up like we've done this one, and then we'll go back to using the blue trailer to ferry the straw around to the other side. Because that's only got a little stand on it, and you can pick it up, pick it up with a tractor, and you don't have to take the stand off. Just that's easy. That's simple. Philip Watkins has got it sorted out, actually, though. We've got a, a bit of an issue. We've got a flat tyre. Oh. That's just from, from a spanner. Uh, has it? Well, we've got some of them tyres. I'll have to I'll have to change it, though. Damn. We've got some of them spare, though, on rims. So it's just a case of taking it off. Maybe, maybe me and Ash will do that, actually, now. I'll probably do that. Yeah, like the maybe. one thing that I love about like John Deere's and stuff is during system reboot all applications will be shut down no system messages will be displayed for an injury and ensure the machine is in part position basically like the computer on it needs to reboot because it's messed up the computer because I'm just moving trailers putting the straw blower on put the straw blower back on for Andy um, Ashley just in front actually, he's just tipping that mix off, which is handy. Um, what are we going to do then? Oh, I've got that tyre, maybe. See if Ash fancies doing that. If not, me and Andy will do it tomorrow. Um, I could do it some chopping a bit more wood, really. Get that wood pile down. I saw my TikTok earlier 
about the John Deere thing rebooting. Well, I've just driven from the other side of the yard and still thinking. Okay, so I stopped it at just over a minute and we got some kind of error thing. Read operator's manual prior to this. Uh, Pretty much could display it on this page to hell. Okay, whatever. I don't know what that was about. But. Okay, looks like it's working now. Two or three minutes in, like. Brilliant, that's great. I would have just had to sit there and pay somebody to sit there for like three or four minutes while it decided to sort itself out. Whereas in the old tractor, just jump in, boom, 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 and it's working. Anyway, I'm bitching a lot today, aren't I? God, somebody's rattled my cage. <laughs> ah, she's just emptying the last bit of mix out of this. Uh, tie locking. So I'll start filling uh, the box. My wheat's coming on nicely now. It's getting a bit of feeding done now. Me and Ash. Yeah, it's a little bit early, but it's a Sunday, so it'll not matter too much. So coming out of the auger bucket there. All these guys mostly just laid down, maxing and relaxing. A few of them are beating. It's not happy, is he, Ash? Not just rotted us. Oh, it's funny. He was going to come and see us, he said, after he'd uh, been to dump it with my mum. Oh no. Gone. She's leaving me. He's going for a meal at his grandma's. Gangster. Uh, <laughs> I've only just got fodder beat to do and then I'm done, really. But it's been a really big help. He's going back with his gun. <laughs> Just had to stop putting the beat out because this chain is skipping a bit. I'm guessing it's too baggy. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to have to um, tighten this because this tightens the chain. So I put that da down that way and then that'll pull that tight. Hopefully. So I'm hoping from the two videos you can see the difference. So I push this down and it tightens up the bottom. And then um, what I was doing before is this cog here was skipping on the chain. Every now and then you do it go bang, bang, bang. So eventually it would just wear the chain and, and snap the chain. So hopefully this will sort it. Um, we tighten it up, but it just comes slack over time. <laughs> well, that's brilliant. I've just used it a couple of times and it's come slack again. So maybe I'm going to have to put something in the in the gap or something to hold it up. Yeah, I'll leave this till tomorrow. I just jumped on Andy's tractor, 6130, and I put that away. And that's me about done for today. But well, I say about done. I'm gonna actually go and get a chainsaw out, cut some wood up, chop some wood with the ax. Um, still got a few days, a few days, a few hours of um, sunlight left and uh, yeah. I know what's going to happen, I'm going to get really busy soon and I'm not going to be able to get that wood done so I want to just get it ticked off and out all the way. way there, as I was saying earlier, Ash, the legend that he is, went down to his dad's garage and got some of that, um, is it tiger, tiger summer or other? I don't know, not tiger balm, that's what you put on your face isn't it, but uh, tiger seal, that's it, and he's put it on this and he's taped it up and he said, leave the door open Joe. <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing. I'm leaving it open and um, that should be stuck on tomorrow, which will be fantastic. Up. And that's about it then from me today. Um, if you've liked our stuff, please remember to press that like button and subscribe if you want to. And if you fancy a hat, then um, head over to eBay. I'm still sorting that website out. But hopefully that should be going live next week if I can get a bit more time to do it. Maybe I didn't ought to be chopping wood now, but... I like chopping wood. Um, and yeah, uh, Emma will be back tomorrow. Andy's back, of course. And um, we'll see you all then, if that's all right. Catch you later, guys. Bye.